Every dog has its day. Okay, we're at the Million Paws Walk here at beautiful Albert Park Lake in South Melbourne and the walks to raise funds for the RSPCA. As you can see, it's just wall-to-wall -wall dogs. <laughs> this is Tonka's first time. This is Tonka here. This is Tonka. This is Blaze. Blaze, yeah. This is, this is your second year here? Yeah. Are these um They're doggles. They're doggles? Um, I actually got them through work. Okay. You can buy them around the place, can you? You can. I think a lot of pet shops stock them. Oh, okay. We're with Natalie and Oxy. Now, Oxy's a Malamute. How old is Oxy? He's ten and a half. Ten and a half. Has he had any uh, health issues that are specific to Malamutes? Or? It's a lot of skin issues, actually. Yeah? yeah. And what do you, how do you deal with that? Try and manage it through just a really good diet, science diet or something like that. And um, plenty of washing. And he's medicated wash. Okay. okay, this is Yuri and Coco. Um, what kind of dog's Coco? Uh, she's a Chihuahua. Okay, how old is she? She's five months. Chihuahua. She's so cute. <laughs> a, a Dane. A Harlequin. A, 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 oh, a Dane. He's massive. He is. He is. Okay, I'm with Pete and Pete. Now, Pete's has St. Bernard, right? Yeah. And, uh, just for people who are thinking of getting a St. Bernard, how much do they eat? Not that much, actually. He's on about eight cups of dry food a day at the moment. Okay, right. he should get to a fair bit more, I reckon. So, how old is he? He's eight months old. Oh, okay, he's younger. Yeah, he's only really young. Yeah. Right. So, how much do you spend a week on the dog? Whoa! Wow, yeah! Can we go through $100 a month? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what sort of dog have you got here? Pekingese. The Pekingese. Lewis. Lewis. How old's Lewis? Is this Lewis's first million oh, paws more? That is third. What's the best thing about the day? Oh, I should have out and have a bit of fun. It's yep. just wonderful. The dogs love it. it everyone gets to go for a walk. Yeah. Beautiful day for it. Great day. Oh, That's all. The Million Paws Walk started in 1994 in Queensland as a fundraiser for animal welfare organisation RSPCA, with 500 people taking their dogs and cats for a walk. Two years later the walk began to go national and has been held every year since, growing each time. It's now the RSPCA's biggest event of the year and is run in 60 locations across Australia. Came in with Karen from Aussie Poochmobile. What do you guys do? Aussie Poochmobile, we're the first company to set up a mobile franchise hydrobath business. They've been going for 16 years and now franchised throughout the world. With Aussie Pooch you get absolutely everything you need to start your business. That's for training um, as well as the ongoing support that you get to right. make a successful business. It looks like the dogs lo are loving it as well. Oh, they absolutely love it. And the operators love it as well. They they truly get, not only do they get a great business, but they get a job a that they job love well. every day. <laughs> Okay, we're here with Dr. Andy, who's a vet with the RSPCA. What are you guys doing here today? Uh, today we're here to obviously uh, to help out with the Million Paws Walk. What sort of um, questions have you had today? Um, most, mostly about behaviour and uh, Gymnasts. <laughs> oh no, I see you. Beautiful. Say hello. Okay, I'm with Susie from Herb Doctors Pet Care. Susie, tell us about what you guys do. These products uh, contain no sodium lauryl sulfate, no colour pigment. Um, they're gentle on the pet's coat. They're over here. I've never seen so many dogs in one place. This year at the Melbourne Walk alone, there were over 12,000 dogs of all sizes being walked by about 15,000 humans, raising more than $200,000. And the money's put to good use. Each year, the RSPCA accept more than 135,000 animals from the community and investigate 48,000 complaints of animal cruelty and neglect, all of which costs big dollars. What sort of dog have you got? Uh, he's a Japanese Akita, just an old fella. How old is he? He's about 12 or 13. Yeah? How many million paws walks has he been on? Ah, uh, this is his first. This is his first? He's a virgin. 
What do you reckon, big guy? Having a good day? <laughs> what sort of dog have you got? Samoyed. Hi, Samoyed. This is Max. Hi, Max. How many how many million paws of walks has Max been on? I think it's about his fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's enjoying the day. Oh, I think he is. What's his What's Max's favourite thing about the million paws walk? Uh, seeing all the other doggies. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going? <laughs> Hound TV. What kind of dog have you got? A Staffy. What's his name? Her name? Molly. Polly? Molly, yeah. Molly. How old's Molly? I'm just turned four. How many million paws of walks has she been on? First one. First one? Yep. Having a good day, Molly? <laughs> <laughs> and for some dogs, it was just all a bit too much. The Million Paws Walk is an amazing day for dogs and dog lovers. I hope we'll see you there next year. Well, that wraps up episode two of Hound TV. If you haven't already subscribed, do drop by our website at houndtv.com and sign up. It's totally free and you'll be sure never to miss an episode. Oh, and we do need your feedback and suggestions. Drop us a line, woof at houndtv.com. Until next time, keep on hounding.